I've mentioned that I'm new at doing makeup. <laughs> um, I'm not, I didn't grow up like being taught. So, and I actually didn't even grow up being exposed to the option to wear a lot of makeup um, or learn how to do it really. But, um, so I'm learning <laughs> late and um, it's, you know, like I used to wear makeup and I thought like <laughs> tinted lip gloss and maybe a little eyeliner, maybe a little mascara was like, and I was good to go. Um, and I think I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do the makeup and I didn't know how to do makeup on Korean eyes and, um, so I kind of picked it up again this summer, um, mainly because I sit here or lay here and I, while well, I've been waiting for my knee to heal, um, I just kind of thought it would be fun to do something simple and that wouldn't matter. There was no, like, I mean, I'm not, like, learning makeup to, because I'm going somewhere or want to have makeup when I go here or anything like that. Um, so <laughs> there's so many things though that I'd never even heard of, like, like I never even heard of like an eyeshadow palette, for instance. Um, I mean, I've heard of like a palette, an artist palette, but I was like, what do you mean an eyeshadow palette? So what they basically mean is like, here's an example. Okay. So this, whoops, I maybe do it that way. Sorry. Um, so this is a smaller palette and let me see if I can open it because it's heavy or it's hard. <clears throat> Sorry. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And, um, as you can see, they're like super bright colors and I've kind of played with the pink and like one of the blues and, um, it's kind of extreme. There's one that's a little more to my taste. And it's this one. Um, this is a Korean brand. And ugh, it could, it's like really sweet, like pinks and some sparkles and stuff like that. So I, I use that quite a bit. Um, so those are palettes. Um, I know that like before when... Um, you know, you would look for eyeshadow in the store. It would be like, maybe you would get like, you know, six or seven colors in like a strip or something. Um, and yeah, so this is kind of new. And it's also new to have those like gigantic ones. Have you seen those? Um, let me see if I can reach this. So this is a palette that I got. And it's this huge thing right like oh my god and so like this thing I think is like 12 15 dollars and like you can get like a a small palette like the ones I showed you for the same um and so it was just sort of like well why don't we just get this one and we should be good to go but then of course you know makeup um, so anyways, <laughs> I learned something pretty valuable and probably everybody knows this. So this isn't like news to anybody, but so there's all this, there's, sorry, there's also this new invention since I used to wear makeup that, um, is magnetic eyelashes, falsies. So I wear falsies because I have like zero eyelashes. You can't see them. And, um, and even if I try to curl them, they're so short that I can't curl them very well. Um, 
so I wear falsies, but I started to wear magnetic ones because you can use those over and over and over and over again. Like I think many, many times, a couple dozen times at least. And how it works is that um, they come with like a little glue like this. And then um, it's like a pain in the butt, but I'm going to show you because it's a pain in the butt. So it comes with an applicator like this. And I don't know about you, but especially if you're blind in one eye, <laughs> it's really hard to do makeup, but it's also really hard, especially to do a straight line, let alone a line. And so you apply this um, black eyeliner, liquid, liquid eyeliner, and then you're supposed to put it on pretty thick. And I was doing that for a while and I just hated it. But um, for one, I could never do a straight line. And two, well, I could never match my eyes. And then three, I just didn't like the look of it really. Probably because it was sloppy. <laughs> but um, you, put them, you put that on, the eyeliner, you let it dry. And then... Um, you basically take your eyelashes that have five magnetic points on it and that is supposed to adhere. And um, it does, except for you do have to do a few coats on it. You have to do it thick enough and you have to reapply because it comes, it's looser. It gets looser like every, you know, as like the day goes on. Um. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by any products. I'm not saying any brands or anything because I'm just, I'm just talking about makeup and what I happen to have. Um, so I was putting this eyeliner on and then using cleansing wipe to take off my makeup. But for waterproof, you need to have apparently a, a different type of makeup remover um, that is oil-based. So they give you these. So here's one. I just got this. So this is a makeup remover melting balm. And um, how it works is, so I guess you just kind of put it on. It's like a little waxy. You put it on your eyes, and then it turns into oil, like a... I don't think it's, like, liquidy. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I believe that it breaks down. And then into, like, an oil. And then you can take off, um, like, waterproof mascara. And uh, apparently magnetic eyeliner. So I did not have that. I didn't have this until recently. But what I'd been doing is getting as much off as I could of the makeup with like the other wipes that had makeup remover in them. And then with the, what was residual, which was what, what was left was quite a bit. And so I would like take my nails and kind of like rub. Well, first I take my finger and kind of rub and see if any would come off. And sometimes a little would, but then I would end up like, you know, kind of like, scraping with my nail gently to get it off um, as the night went on, you know, because I'd take it off and then by the time I was going to bed, if I was going to bed, I would have scraped maybe half of it off. And the last time I did it, it just hurt so much. And I was being really careful, but there was a lot there. And um, I ended up like like actually um, injuring myself by scraping my eyelid so much on both of them that they were all red and puffy and raw right in here. And they ended up forming like a scab. And it was just awful and awful. <laughs> so, yeah, so before you choose makeup that has special qualities like 
semi-permanency. <laughs> um, I guess you need to like make sure that you have proper makeup remover to safely remove it and not maim yourself. See, and I don't think anybody else needs that warning but me.